had a chance to be around a lot of big time achievers. On the famous level, I had a chance to interview Michael Jordan one on one, uh, Larry Bird, uh, all kinds of people, Ryan Newman, uh, who's from southwestern Michigan, won the 50th Daytona 500. And one of the people that I learned a lot about excellence was I had a long sit down interview with Pat Riley, who's now the executive of the Miami Heat and before that coached the Lakers. And we had this conversation. He said, Charlie, excellence is the gradual result of always striving to be better. Excellence is the gradual result of always striving to be better. And I just think that says it perfectly. Uh, I had the chance to be at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs about six years ago. And you talk about seeking excellence. This story floored me. We were doing a little tour, and, and we went by the weight room. And there they have it where you can see it, and the ceiling's, you know, about 10 feet, and they got this glass area where you can look through. And as we were about to leave there, we wondered, why were the ceiling tiles damaged in the corner? It wasn't near this high. It was typical ceiling height. And the guide said, oh, we had to put that there. And we're like, what are you talking about? And what happened was a lot of these potential Olympic athletes out there were so dedicated to being the best they could, they would work out and train throughout the day. And then sometimes they'd want to come back in the middle of the night. Well, the weight room would be closed for a period of time, from maybe, say, midnight to 4 a.m. or something. Would that stop them? Would they turn around and shrink from a challenge? No. They'd get a chair, and they knocked out the ceiling tiles to crawl into the weight room to work some more. I'd never seen anything like that. And I know that's hard to grasp, but it, to me, an outstanding example of seeking excellence. 